Morning, folks. This is Blue Collar Piper. And I'm coming at you with a... Yeah. Whoa, that's right. This is, uh... I believe this is the Yapa from, uh... Metalhead Cigar Guy. And, uh... I'm gonna open this up for you folks. Before I do, I'm smoking my... My Royalton Bent Bulldog full of uh, CAO's Moon Traps. That's almost done. I do believe. Yeah, there's still a little smoke up there. So anyways, I'm going to show these guys off. First off, let me say, uh, thank you very much. I, uh, I appreciate this. Thank you very much, Brian. Uh, that's very generous of you, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Now, to show you what's inside, it looks like we have some... some cigars. Now, to be honest, I've never really smoked any cigars. I mean, sure, I've had a pack of Backwoods now and again. I'd hardly consider that a real, you know, decent cigar. But, you know, it was easy enough and it was cheap and available. And I had some, on occasion, I've had the uh, occasional Swisher Sweet Size King Edwards, and oh, those are awful. Uh, so... This is uh, very, very much going to be the first time I've ever had in my possession uh, um, a real cigar. So, definitely, thank you big time. Can't wait to see what's in there. Let's see if I can... Oh, oh there it goes. Let's see what we got in here, shall we? Let's see. We got, geez, that's a big dog. A lot number 826 slow age premium blended tobacco. Lot number 826. That's a big old stick. Man. Wow. That's cool. Then we have uh, Guillermo Le Guillermo Guillermo Leona. There it goes. Won't oh, try to. Oh, there it is. Yay. And then we got Here's a fat boy. A Don Jose Nicaragua. Handmade. Okay. It's got a really dark light you want. Uh Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio Man That smells That smells divine. Hmm. We have a 
Moro Castle. Jeez, what a big old band. That's gorgeous. There you go. Jeez, man. This is awesome. <coughs> A Gran Habano Vintage 2002. Pinar del Rio Habano Sungrown. <coughs> wow, dude. That's freaking awesome, man. He wrote a chart to let me know uh, the differences on these because, you know, <coughs> I made it pretty clear that I didn't know anything about it. <coughs> oh, there's a note. This is, uh, here are a few cigars that I really enjoy and I hope you do as well. Good luck and continue success with the clay pipes. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Metal Hit Cigar Guy, Brian. Okay, the Don Jose Valrico Maduro, one from the video Everyday Smoke with Taste of Leather, Wood, and Pepper. That sounds nice. Grand, that's the, that's the uh, mild. Or medium. Yeah, that's the medium. Okay, the Grand Habano Vintage 2002 Robusto, nice premium that can be found at a great price. $2 per cigar. Well, that's not bad. Um medium to full taste of creamy coffee nuts and earth that sounds nice okay Perdomo slow aged lot 826 Maduro Churchill one of my favorite cigars and it can be found for two dollars and 25 cents a stick that's not bad at all and that was a mild to medium um, the Pinar del Rio Habano Sun Grown Robusto it is my favorite boutique brand. This is a great premium cigar with taste of pepper, spice, wood, leather, and nuts. And it's a medium to full. Moro Castle Toro. This is a nice cigar blend by AJ Fernandez, who is one of the top cigar blenders in the industry. This one makes for a great morning smoke and pairs great with a good coffee. This has a taste of creamy coffee, nuts, some wood, and light pepper. It's mild to medium. Man, I wish I didn't have to go to work today. I fired that bad boy up. Well, I gotta get a cutter first. I don't know what to go with most cheap. Uh, Hoya de Nicaragua, Antano 1970 in Machito. Machito. This one's a firecracker. Go slow with it. It has some kick. Tastes of earth, wood, and spice. And it's full bodied. Okay. Thanks for the heads up on that. La Ora. Guillermo Leon Gran Corona. I've yet to try this one, but it's top rated premium blend from one of the oldest cigar manufacturers. Medium to full bodied. Dude, this is like a freaking tour of a uh, of cigar of uh, quality cigars in in a bag. That's awesome, dude. Freaking rock. I sure appreciate it, man. Let me get these back in here. So, I'll, uh or have a humidor or anything like that, so I will most definitely be uh, not trying to hang on to these too long. <laughs> they won't last long, trust me. Uh, mm. Yeah, buddy. I certainly appreciate this. This is, uh... God, that smells good. Mm. Yes, sir. 
I much appreciate it. And uh, it was very, very generous of you. I'm going to be enjoying these. And as a matter of fact, I'll probably do a review on them. They'll give me something to shoot more videos about. And, uh, of course, there'll be a review from someone who has no freaking clue. But, you know, we all got to start somewhere, right? Okay, folks. Thank you very much for uh, watching. And, uh, again, thank you, Brian. You rock. And uh, y'all have a great day.